Hey, this is John with Circuit Board Medics. We're here to show you how to remove the turbo actuator from the Cummins 6.7 diesel engine. These are out of 2007 to 2018 Ram trucks. Today we're working on a 2015 Ram 3500. It has a Cummins 6.7 with an HE300. We're gonna be removing and replacing the turbo actuator. Before unbolting the turbo actuator, it's very important to drain the coolant from the system. The easiest way to get to the turbo actuator is through the front passenger wheel well. We'll start by jacking up the vehicle and removing the passenger side front wheel, and then we can remove the inner fender splash guard. Now that we have the wheel off, we need to remove the inner liner. We're going to show you which fasteners to remove to do that. We're going to start by removing the 8mm heads here. Followed by two more in the recesses in the center and three push tabs located here, here, and here. Now that the liner is removed, we can get to the turbo actuator mounted on the side of the turbo. So we have an actuator here to make it a little bit easier to see where the bolts are. We're gonna start by removing the electrical connector, followed by this 10 millimeter head for the harness. There are four bolts holding the actuator to the turbo. Those are five millimeter Allens, two on the top and two on the bottom. The two on the top are shorter. And the bottom left, when you're pulling it out, you'll notice won't be able to be removed until the actuator is removed because the suspension tower is in the way. I have a new turbo here to show you the sector gear. Once you pull the actuator off, you want to make sure that your sector gear travels fully. You'll hear it click to either side. It travels about an inch. Um, if it's bound up or not moving easily with just the push of a finger in either direction, you may need a new turbo. To verify that your sector gear travels fully in both directions, you'll be able to line up the guide hole with two holes in the body of the turbo. Other versions of this turbo will have guide marks here to indicate full travel, and here. Before reinstalling the turbo actuator, it's important to make sure that the sector gear is rotated fully clockwise. Also, before reinstalling the turbo actuator, you want to make sure that the surface areas for the seals are clean and flat. We recommend using either Scotch-Brite or razor blade or both. Anytime one of these turbo actuators is being installed, it needs to be calibrated. Today we're going to be using Circuit Board Medics calibration tool. It's a rental that you can get with your turbo actuator from Circuit Board Medics. And today we're gonna to walk through the calibration process. We're gonna start by installing the black cable. This end goes into the harness from the vehicle. This end with two prongs goes into the vehicle side of the calibrator. And we'll begin with that. Now that we have the calibrator plugged in, we need to turn the ignition on without starting the engine. The calibrator will then power on, and we'll press begin to start the calibration procedure. The next step is to connect the actuator to the calibrator using the red cable provided. The next step will lock the device to the VIN of the truck that you're working on. And the next step after that is to move the sector gear to the install position, which is the clockwise most position. The next step prepares the actuator for calibration and aligns the gear in the actuator. When we reach step four, it's time to mount the turbo actuator to the turbo. I'll need to make sure that the gaskets are fully seated, that the gear is greased, and the sector gear is also greased. 
don't forget to insert the bottom left bolt before mounting. Torque the actuator mounting bolts to eight foot pounds in a crisscross pattern. Now that we have it mounted, we're ready to calibrate with the final step. Now the calibration is successful, we can go ahead and turn the ignition off. Lastly, we'll unplug the calibration tool so that we can plug in the harness back into the actuator and secure the harness with the 10 millimeter bolt. Now we're reinstalling the fender liner. Lastly, put the wheel back on. After the turbo actuator is installed and calibrated, the next step is to refill and bleed the cooling system. We hope this video has been helpful. If you need a turbo actuator from an HE351 or an HE300, visit our website at circuitboardmedics.com or give us a call at 800-547-2049. Also check out our full lineup of turbos, turbo actuators, injectors, instrument clusters, and tip for other Ram trucks. We look forward to serving all of your automotive electronic needs.